Hi, welcome back. <laughs> I, I, if you were watching the previous video, something happened and I don't know, I must have had an internet glitch or something like that and it just stopped in midstream. So we're going to start again. So everything's better the second time around. All right. So hi, it's Bill Sklodowski and it's iPhone Friday and it's time to talk about how to never get another robo call, phone call again on your iPhone. I know it's a big promise and there is one little catch to it and we'll talk about that coming up in a moment. But uh, thanks for joining us. If you're uh, with us on Friday watching the live uh, feed here on Facebook, hopefully it stays live and we appreciate that. Uh, if not, you can always come over to the blog at BillSkolodowski.com and you can also uh, visit us on our YouTube channel as well at any time for any of these videos. And uh, by the way, if you haven't yet, head over to the blog, get yourself on our mailing list. Uh, address is right down <laughs> there below and uh, you'll get an email on, on the weekend, just one email a week on the weekend where we let you know about the videos that came out in the previous week, how to see them on the blog if you missed them, and also how to get the free handout uh, that you will get for today's video to show you exactly how to do what we're going to do. There, okay. So what we're going to do is show you how to block unknown callers. That's what Apple calls it on their, um, in their system settings. So let's jump over into the phone and, and get that going, shall we? So as always, it always begins with settings. So jump into settings. And where we're going, let me get back to that so I can show you how I got there. Um, where you're going under settings, scroll down until you see the phone app. Okay, that's the phone right there. And it looks just like the app you know, icon on the front page of the, of the phone. Tap on phone, scroll about halfway down, and you're looking for that right there, silence unknown callers, okay? So it even tells you exactly down there at the bottom what it's going to do. So let me, if you can't see it, I'm going to read it, and I'll explain what all of that means, because it's a little, sometimes it's, there's a little bit of like a wiggle room in there. But if you turn it on, which by the way, you do like you do everything else, just by tapping and sliding it over so that the button is green, so that it's on, when that is turned on and engaged, calls from unknown numbers will be silenced, but they will still go to voicemail, okay? So, and I was mentioning this, I was talking about this on the, you know, when I tried on <laughs> version number one of this, that usually, typically, my favorite word, typically uh, with robocalls, especially if it's a machine, most often when it's a human as well, if they hear it go to voicemail, they don't even leave a message, right? It's, you know, you'll just see that the phone rang, there's no message, no harm, no foul, that's okay, all right? So anyway, if they are uh, an unknown caller, it will go directly to voicemail. You'll still see it as an incoming call in your call log, and we'll show that in a moment, all right? But incoming calls will ring through for people in your contact list. That's the big one, contact list. Also, if you have recently called somebody, so if I call you, you know, leave a message and you call me back, even if you're not in my contacts, I had an outgoing call to your number. So if you call back on that number, it's going to ring through. Cool. And then the other one is where it says Siri suggestions. What does that mean? Siri takes a look and sees what's going on on your phone as far as text messages, emails. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in other places like Facebook or whatever. I don't think so. But most importantly is a text message, okay? So if you get a text from somebody, all right, and from a phone number, because a text can come from a phone number or an email address, all right, the phone is going to see that and let that call come through, okay? So those are the three ways. The contact list is the biggest one. And for most of us, I know all of my friends are on my contact list and all of my clients are on my contact list. Now, the problem, of course, for me is that I use my phone, you know, I use my phone for business. So, you know, I, I can't turn that on. I just can't. Because, you know, if a client calls me and it's a brand new client, right, I don't want them to go to voicemail. I want to talk to them, <laughs> obviously. So I leave it off. I leave it turned off and I'll take my chances with the robo calls and all of that sort of thing. So anyway, that's the big thing about silencing unknown callers. So again, if you'd like to do that, feel free to turn it on, go to settings and phone and slide on where it says silence unknown callers. Just know that if somebody calls you, for example, 
uh, an old friend calls you and maybe they got a new phone number or you never had them in your contact list or whatever, okay? They are going to go to voicemail. They're just going to go to voicemail. Now, you're not going to lose them. They're not going anywhere. The call will still be available to you in voicemail. And then from there, you can either add them into your contacts, you know, or whatever, whatever you choose to do. And there's a whole, that's a whole other class at some point where we talk about adding people into contacts. I think we did that. I think if you look back in the archives, you'll probably find a, a video about uh, creating and adding people to your contacts. Okay. But in the meantime, let's go back to the phone thing. Like we said, so if, so for example, here, me, I've got all these, oh, let me jump over all these calls that I had, right, with just phone numbers, right? Those are number, those are people or machines or something. That's a call from something that is not in my contact. Because if it was in my contact, well, there's me. You know, there's a couple of my clients down there as well. Well, if you see a name, then obviously that phone call is from somebody, you know, that's already in your contacts. You've probably seen that when the phone rings and it's somebody in your contact, it puts the name right there on the front page of the phone so you know who's calling, obviously, okay? So there you go. You know, you can come back in here, you can check your voicemails, you can see if there's somebody that you need to talk to or get back to or whatever. All right. So I promised you one other tip, by the way, and that is if you do get a phone call from a machine or a person or a something that's kind of pestering you or you want to not be bothered by them anymore, you can selectively, call by call, block one specific phone number. Oh, did you know that? So, for example, let's say, and again, I don't. let's do the first one up at the top there. I don't know who that number is in Bradford, Vermont. I'm not sure I know anybody in Bradford, Vermont. But, I, and I obviously had two phone calls from them back to back there. But if I wanted to block that call and never get another call from them, that see the little I button right at the other, at the far right side of it, that little information? If I tap on that I, it will take me to the log, if you will, of the call, right? So I had that call yesterday at 2.53 in the afternoon. It lasted for a minute, etc. If I scroll all the way down to the bottom, look at what's down there at the very bottom. Block this caller. And it will do exactly that. Okay. Your phone will never ring. It will not go to voicemail. It will nothing. In fact, I don't even know what happens when somebody calls and their number's been blocked. That's an interesting, I might have to look that up somewhere or I might have to block a friend and tell them to call me and then unblock them and tell them what happens. Right. So anyway, yes, you can always block the caller should you choose to. Now, the problem with that is, it's, I'm not going to say it's a huge problem, but if somebody like a, 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 a robocall, for example, or some sales organization or something uses multiple different phone numbers, all right, it's only blocking that one phone number from that, you know, that specific caller or that specific phone. So, you know, that's good and bad. All right, so that's going to do it for today. I wanted to keep it short. Remember, you can go into settings and phone and then the kill off or silence kill off. That's ugh. silence unknown callers. All right. One other thing with that, and I, I read this on the Apple website, and it's probably in a very rare case. All right. But it does say if an emergency call goes out from your phone, you dial 911 for any reason from your phone here. All right. That for the next 24 hours, the silence unknown callers will be turned off. So that if people need to get a hold of you or something like that, or something, you know, you need to be reached by somebody that maybe is not in your contacts, for 24 hours after an emergency call, the silence unknown callers feature will be turned off. Kind of interesting. Okay. And again, that's going to do it. So if you have not yet, I would invite you to jump over to the website, BillSkolodowski.com. And this is exactly what you will see. Click on that big button there that says click me and you will get yourself on our list so that every weekend you get the we weekly recap email. Say that fast five times. Um, one email per week. That's it, literally. 
And what it does is it says, okay, here's what you missed on Wednesday for the What's New Wednesday video. Here's what you missed on Friday for the iPhone Friday video. And here is the handout that we had from the iPhone Friday video. Just download it and print it and keep it if you'd like, or at least read it and keep it on your computer and do whatever you'd like with it. And again, all this is free, costs you nothing, just an email address. And uh, if you don't like it, well, you can unsubscribe at any time. It won't break my heart. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe a little, but that's okay. So that's going to do it. Have yourself a great weekend. Uh, stay safe out there. Keep washing those hands. I keep having to remind myself of that as well. And uh, we will see you again next week. Take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.